So here we have the jelly juice that I showed you the video of earlier. And we've let this set for 24 hours so that way it can form any crystals and we can do the second straining. You can see some of the crystals there and that's why we strain it twice because we don't want those crystals in our jelly. Here we have a double funnel with a damp jelly bag between. And what I'm doing is just putting it through there to catch any crystals, measuring it out in four cup increments so that we can start making our grape jelly. So here we have our four cups of grape juice that's been strained twice. We have seven cups of sugar added to it. I'm going to be using a liquid pectin today, so we'll be using sugar with the juice first. If this was powdered pectin, we would be measuring the juice, adding the pectin and cooking it before we add our sugar. It's very important that you follow the, the rules as far as, um, or I should say instructions, where the pectins are concerned, otherwise your jelly will not set. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stove after it's whisked and I'm gonna bring it to a full rolling boil. And a full rolling boil means a boil that does not stop bubbling when stirred. It needs to be on high heat. I'm gonna boil it for exactly one minute and it's gonna be stirred constantly so that it doesn't scorch. Then after that, I'm gonna stir the pectin in, return it to a full rolling boil and boil it for exactly one minute stirring constantly. And then we'll remove it from the heat and we will put it in our hot jelly jars. And as you can see, my jelly jars are all sterile and right there, I'm just gonna fill them with some hot water so that they can be nice and toasty warm before we add them into our hot canner. Okay, so we're just about at a minute. Is it that timer? Can you take this? We're gonna move it off the heat and put the pectin in it as we continue to stir. Leave your burner on because you're gonna need it. Helps if you have a helper here, especially when you're videoing. <laughs> You want to try to go quick because you don't want this to cool too much. And then I recommend wearing a pot mate while you stir it because it will bubble. And again, you don't want hot jam on your skin. We're going to return it to the heat and we're going to do a, bring it back to a rolling boil and boil it for one minute. Okay, so the pectin is just added. We're gonna bring it back to a full roll and boil, which it's just getting to. And then we're gonna put the timer on for a minute. And then we'll take it off, skim the foam, and jar it, and then it will go in the canner for a five minute water bath. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start our timer now. Okay, so we're skimming the foam off our jelly. And now we're gonna start ladling it into hot jars. Be careful you don't get this on your skin because it is extremely hot. It will take your skin off. 